October 10, 2023, S. Etchy 97 asked a question and you shall forever more be known as Etsy because I don't know what that means and I'm a simpleton, so there you go. Okay, Etchy, Etsy, here's the 3350 story. Question was why did we put a 3350 on critical mass instead of a 2800? Um, it came that way is the bottom line. The first conversion that I'm aware of was the 4360 they put on Dreadnought and that was because Frank Sanders flew um, with the Planes of Fame Super Corsair when they built it up, flew chase with the uh, Sea Fury, and he was under the impression, what would you ever need more horsepower for? Mine will keep up with that thing until the Super Corsair walked away from him. And he said, uh-oh. And then they built up Dreadnought with a 4360. Now you got a winner. The second conversion of a Sea Fury that I'm aware of was a 3350 that Larry Burton did for the Blind Man's Bluff project. That came from, I, I understand, Ralph Payne, who was also based there in Phoenix. And if anybody's got more info on who the hell Ralph Payne was, he was apparently a pretty influential figure back then, but I just don't have the stories for that. Um, then please add some stories for sure about Ralph Payne. But Ralph said, you need the Sky Raider motor. They're dirt cheap, buy them by the truckload, and, and they're wonderful. And so that was the... That was the genesis there, and then much later, I, what could it be five years ago, the Sanders started putting the 2800 on Sea Furies because the 3350 main bearings were having trouble. When they were being rebuilt, they rebuilt the main bearings or made new main bearings, and they were not using the approved process, and they were failing, kind of like the T28 motors were. Um, that's been squared away, so I don't know of any recent failures on any rebuilds from the main bearing. But that spooked the Sanders who said, we'll just put a 2800 on it. And they swapped out Dreadnought, no, Argonaut, and put a 2800 on it. And we were able to capture um, their extra parts that they took off to convert from 3350 to 2800 exhaust and, and um, air intake snooter and all those kind of pieces. And we used those on our rebuild to go from the big motor 3350 to the uh, Sky Raider motor. The other side is that Dad, Tom Sr., flew the Sky Raider motor right with the Sky Raider. 270 missions in Vietnam, bombing, strafing, napalm. It brought him home every time, so he wouldn't have it any other way. He's not going to be much for one of the other motors because he believes in it, and there you go. So it will not have another motor until he dies for sure. You know, I mean, I don't know that we'll ever change anything, but um, not while he's alive, man. There's just no way. So that's that. So on the a fun story to do would be to get Brad Miller on the line and try to do a story about the level or using the 3350 on their racer. And Brad put together a test cell up in Hondo, Texas. It's a hell of a story. And built it up and he was able to run 5,000 horsepower on that motor, like for an hour. You just plug in the truck, the truck and trailer full of ethanol, you plug it straight into the test cell and just run the motor and it just doesn't have any cooling issues, it just, it just goes. And it would run 5,000 horsepower and high blower for an hour. Like they could go to lunch, leave somebody to poke the red button if it all goes to hell, and, um, and come back and it's still running and making horsepower. So the concept was there, the ability of the engine to handle it was there. It was all the detail work because they were rushing so hard to push to Reno. In fact, at one point, um, the crew mutinied and said, we're done, we're not gonna make Reno. We're all going home to the family for a little while. And, and Larry was having none of it and said, hell no, you're not. We're gonna get to Reno. And they all worked 20 hours a day till they made it to Reno. But they were never had a chance to develop the airplane, as I've said in other, other videos. So it just never got to go more than it did, um, which is too bad. They never got to maximize the systems and really just make them any better. So that's the 3350 story. Why do we have a 3350 on critical mass? Because that's the way it came. And that was decades before the 2800 was even considered at that point. So Etsy, hope that helps. Anybody else shoot me questions, we'll try to get to you. Cheers.